fast signs family. Eight weeks into the pandemic. Longest eight weeks I've ever experienced. And then at the same time, they seem to go by just like that because it's like we're always on, we're always working. Uh, you've heard me talk hundreds of times about the belief that I have that there are five common characteristics of all highly successful people. And number five is never stopping learning. And the great thing about all those common characteristics of highly successful people is they're all learned skills. So this past weekend, I was watching TED Talks. Why? Because I think TED Talks is a really cool way in a short amount of time to learn something and expand my knowledge base, my never stopping learning. And I watched for probably the fifth time over the last handful of years, a TED Talk by Angela Lee Duckworth. And I think you ought to write that down or heck, we'll make it written down right here on the video. Angela D Lee Duckworth. Angela Lee Duckworth has an amazing TED Talk on grit, G-R-I-T, not grits, which is a wonderful thing to eat in the South, but grit, that kind of passion and perseverance and drive to get things done. She's done a ton of research on grit, and I'd encourage you to watch that TED Talk. It's very short, but it's very, very good. One of the things that she has learned through all her research is as much as talent counts, effort counts twice as much. In other words, just doing what needs to be done again and again and again and again and again and again and again gets you further ahead in life than having that natural talent or that natural IQ. She's done a lot of research with students and that's where she's come from. She also has a really interesting grit test that you can take and I'm gonna include that in the email and it'll also be on this video as well. I took the test and if you share with me your score, I'll share you mine. But I think it's really an interesting thing to understand where we are today in grit. But I believe that grit, like anything else, can be a learned skill. Perseverance, drive, trying again and again and again, never giving up. I believe we can build that skill in ourselves just like we can build a lot of other skills. So grit is all about pushing yourself to the limit. It leads to greatness because it's all about internal toughness. The last two videos I've sent you, I've recommended books to read. Um, one called Relentless and the other one being called Fortitude. Those are great books to inspire you to build your internal grit quotient. Um, grit is really that stubborn refusal to quit and it's sticking in it's sticking to whatever you want to do day in and day out, not for a week and then giving up, not for eight weeks and giving up, because I know there have been days I feel like giving up during this COVID-19 pandemic, but I go, no, Catherine, you got more grit than that. You grit to it, man. Do not give up. Keep going. Keep driving. And each and every one of you can do that very same thing. So one of the quotes I love from Angela Lee Duckworth is, Grit is sticking with your future day in and day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years. I don't know if this COVID-19 thing is gonna be a drag on business, kind of like a, uh, uh, a headwind on business. I don't know if it's gonna be that way for six months or nine months or 18 months. But if we have the grit and we keep pushing and pushing and pushing, we can be successful. You know, I grew up in Orange County, California. Newport Beach was part of Orange County. That was the beach we went to when I was a kid. My mom and dad bought a boat. Now you need to understand when we bought this boat, it was a 32 foot Chris Craft cabin cruiser. And it was 40 years old when we bought it. That's because man, that was all we could afford. But it was really cool to have this Chris Craft cabin cruiser. We, uh, the first year we went to the boat every weekend. The second year we went to the boat every other weekend. The third year we went to the boat every fourth weekend and I don't even think we used it in the fifth year because every time you use a boat, you gotta wash that damn thing down. So it kind of got to be too much of a hassle, but it was really fun in the beginning. And uh, we would take the boat to uh, Catalina, 26 miles across the sea. We had a lot of fun. Well, John Wayne lived in Orange County and John Wayne also had a really big yacht called the Wild Goose, and it was also moored in Newport Harbor. 
And it was so exciting for me as a kid to think, oh my God, a movie star is, owns that boat. And whenever we'd be in Catalina and we would see the wild goose, the name of his boat moored out there, we would like drive our boat or our dinghy around just looking for a sighting of John Wayne. So you need to know that John Wayne is a hero of mine because that is a man who was tough. He, he, he stood for honesty and integrity and hard work. And in 1969, he was in a movie um, called True Grit. So John Wayne has lots of quotes about grit, and one is, true grit is making a decision and standing by it, doing what must be done. He did that in his career. He kept working at being a great actor, and he worked at it again and again and again. True grit is making a decision and standing by it, doing what must be done. So. Um, when that movie came out in 1969, my dad took me to it. I remember it being a little bit violent, but the storyline is this young girl, 14 year old girl, her name is Maddie and her dad's a farmer and he gets murdered by a really, really bad, bad guy, kind of a gangster back in the Western days. And then she convinces this retired or this old, uh, sheriff, Texas Ranger kind of a guy named Rooster Cogburn to be with her and hunt down the guy that murdered her dad. And so there's this story of overcoming so many odds and really experiencing a really demonstrating true grit. So I remember that movie. I remember some really gruesome parts of that movie. I know it's been remade since then, I think with Brad Pitt, but my version of true grit is the one with John Wayne. So grit is living life like it's a marathon. This thing that we're facing right now, the COVID-19 pandemic, this is not a sprint to get through it. It is a marathon. And so what, am, what do marathon runners do? They make sure they eat well. They make sure they get rest. They make sure they train each and every day, building up their endurance. And that's what we need to do as business owners. We need to take good care of ourselves. We need to eat healthy. We need to get rest. We probably need to smoke less and drink less and focus on giving our bodies all the opportunity they have to be healthy so that we have the energy and the power and the mental perseverance to push through this marathon called COVID-19. Um, Jack Ma, a very, very wealthy billionaire Chinese magnet, uh, founded many companies, but one of the companies he founded is Alibaba. And Alibaba is bigger than Amazon. It is, if you will, the Amazon uh, online monster uh, in China called Alibaba. And so Jack Ma is a, he's a, business magnet, he's a CEO, he's a politician, he's a statesman. And a quote from Jack Ma is, you have a choice. You can throw in the towel or you can use it to wipe the sweat off your face. And I think that's what we need to do. We need to work hard. We need to work harder than we ever worked. I can tell you I'm working harder than I've ever worked, but I'm not gonna throw in that towel. I'm gonna take the towel and use it to wipe the sweat off my face. If you don't give up, you still have a chance because giving up is the greatest failure. Another very successful CEO and author of two New York Times bestselling books, Peter Demondis, um, has a, two books. One is called Bold and one is called Abundance. And he has a quote that I really like is, what is grit? Grit is refusing to give up. It is persistence. It is making your own luck. Michael Jordan, a guy who showed grit every single day, if you quit once, it becomes a habit, never quit. So as I think about your business and how this applies to you, we know that those franchisees that are proactive, those franchisees that are, they and their inside and outside sales team are making more phone calls, that are following up on estimates more frequently, that are sending out more emails, not blast emails, but individual personalized emails, the ones that are doing it again and again and again, printing those, um, yard signs about we sell COVID-19 you know, signage, we sell social distancing signage, call us and putting them around town. Those people, those that are being more gritty are being more successful than those that of us that are not. You know, Walt Disney said, the difference in winning and losing is most often not quitting. So I'm encouraging you don't quit. Give it all, give it 10 hours a day, give it 12 hours a day. Heck, sometimes you're gonna give it 14 hours a day. I know that Clint Ehlers and Shane Beard and Gabby Mullinax are saying that they're working 16 hour days, I'm working 16 hour days, but you're seeing great results in their businesses and you can do that very same thing. 
thing. So grit is one important key to success. It's that person who perseveres, uh, who's the one that's surely gonna win. But here's what I believe, grit can be learned. I think any skill like perseverance or grit or fortitude, these are muscles, muscles that can be developed. We can develop our grit muscle. And because of that, we can have better drive, better focus, better perseverance to do the things we need to do because we can get through this COVID-19 pandemic. We can come out on the other side with our Fast Signs business healthier than it was before we started. Now, we're here to help. We've got lots of ideas. We got marketing materials. We're doing selling training on how to do successful sales calls without going in person to do it. We got all kinds of resources. We've got the prepare.fastlines.com site full of stuff to help you thrive in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. And you know what? We're all in this together and together we're gonna come out stronger. Thanks for putting up with me again.